town look at the map for a moment before setting off at the sedate pace, we had no choice but to follow him. It looks like there's something located close to here. If we follow the creek, we should get to it with no problems. Mr. Bandages looked over the Count's shoulder at the map. Are you sure that's a creek? Yes. Please, don't try to take an impromptu swim in it. I don't think the doctor would be very happy if you had a relapse. We all followed the cow until we reached a small creek. He even froze the creek. Uh, he? You mean... Eric? You didn't honestly think this was natural, did you? Even the trees are stripped of their leaves, and they were fine before. So, this cold and snow is all artificial? Why would he do that and then give us an outdoor task? Everything is so pretty covered in snow, isn't it? It looks so much cleaner, pure even. I guess so. Let's just keep moving. Artificial cold is still cold. We trek on and found ourselves faced with a white statue of Kippy. Kippy again? Again? Yeah, the sliding puzzle from the first task was of Kippy. Well, Eric does have dice to keep her in. And Kippy is cute! Find one standing dull and still. Do you think the clue refers to the statue? It says find another. So there's probably another statue for us to find as well. Probably. Hmm. Looks like there's an inscription down here. He does the snow that was covering the inscription before reading it out loud. The twins they stood side by side and no one could tell them apart and so they fought with lingering sadness. If others could not see what's inside, they would have to change that on the outside. On the outside? Maybe it's a reference to the clothes and ornaments? The normal kibi doesn't have those. Yeah, so they changed the clothes and ornaments on the stages so people could tell them apart. Seems like it. We would need to see the second statue to be sure though. So where is the second statue? Wait, is that... I brushed some of the snow near the inscription off and found a half buried piece of paper. I quickly dug it out. Looks like we have another map. Count, I think it will be safest in your hands. Well, of course. He looked at the map before walking off, leaving the rest of us to follow. A sudden gust of wind had my grip on the cape tightening. Ah! I turned to the Count just in time to see him slap a hand over one of his eyes. What? What happened? One of my contacts fell out. We could help you look, but with all the snow, it's fine. I carry spurs with me. He threw his back towards us to put his contacts back on. Why all this secrecy with your eye color? You want to talk, Mr. O. Bandage my head during a fire alarm even though everyone can see my hair color. Blue is pretty common anyway. Just look at mine. The count turned back to us once he replaced his missing contact lens. Let's keep going, shall we? Having said that, he woke up and we followed. It wasn't long before we reached a place marked by the map. Instead of a statue, however, there was a man standing there. Only one of you may proceed to the second statue. And the others get to go back to the mansion? Yes. Then I'll sit this one out. Well, there's a first. Miss Archer, as our leader, I think you should be the one to go forward. Yeah. Okay, I'll do my best. That's all we're asking for. Good luck. Don't lose. Now, let's get out of here. I watched the three of them leave before following the man to the second statue. All I need to do is find the differences between this and the other one, right? This should be a piece of cake. Dom, 